Demographics of Israel The demographics of Israel are monitored by the Israel Central Bureau of Statistics. The state of Israel has a population of approximately 8,855,000 inhabitants as of the first half of 2018. Some 74.5% are Jews of all backgrounds, about 6,556,000 individuals, 20.9% are Arab of any religion other than Jewish, about 1,837,000 individuals, while the remaining 4.6%, about 400,000 individuals, are defined as others, including persons of Jewish ancestry deemed non-Jewish by religious law and persons of non-Jewish ancestry who are family members of Jewish immigrants neither of which are registered at the Ministry of Interior as Jews, Christian non-Arabs, Muslim non-Arabs and all other residents who have neither an ethnic nor religious classification. Israel's annual population growth rate stood at 2.0% in 2015, more than three times faster than the OECD average of around 0.6%. With an average of three children per woman, Israel also has the highest fertility rate in the OECD by a considerable margin and much higher than the ICT average of 1.7. Generally, population trends in Israel reflect distinct patterns of two subgroups, Jews, around 74.71% of the population, and Arabs, 20.7%. Over the past decade, the Muslim annual population growth has fallen significantly from around 3% to less than 2.2% by 2013, while the overall Jewish growth rate rose from around 1.4% to 1.7%, primarily due to the expanding Orthodox Jewish sector. The territory of Israel can be defined in a number of ways as a result of a complex and unresolved political situation, see table below. For example, Whilst the Israel Central Bureau of Statistics defines the area of Israel to include the annexed East Jerusalem and Golan Heights, and to exclude the militarily controlled regions of the West Bank, the CBS defines the population of Israel to also include Israeli settlers living in the Area C of West Bank and the Muslim residents of East Jerusalem and Area C, who have Israeli residency or citizenship. Within Israel's system of local government, an urban municipality can be granted a city council by the Israeli Interior Ministry when its population exceeds 20, 000. The term city does not generally refer to local councils or urban agglomerations, even though a defined city often contains only a small portion of an urban area or metropolitan area's population. The most prominent ethnic and religious groups, who live in Israel at present and who are Israeli citizens or nationals, are as follows. According to Israel's Central Bureau of Statistics, in 2008, of Israel's 7.3 million people, 75.6% were Jews of any background. Among them, 70.3% were Sabras, born in Israel, mostly second or third generation Israelis, and the rest are Olaim, Jewish immigrants to Israel, minus 20.5% from Europe and the Americas, and 9.2% from Asia and Africa, including the Arab countries. The paternal lineage of the Jewish population of Israel as of 2015 is as follows. The 2009 survey by the Gutman Center found the following distribution. Fertility rates between secular and religious Jewish groups also differ significantly. Arab citizens of Israel are those Arab residents of mandatory Palestine, who remained within Israel's borders following the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, and the establishment of the State of Israel. It is including those born within the state borders subsequent to this time, as well as those who had left during the establishment of the state, or their descendants, who have since re-entered by means accepted as lawful residents by the Israeli state, primarily family reunification. In 2006, the official number of Arab residents in Israel was 1,413,500 people, about 20% of Israel's population. This figure includes 209,000 Arabs. 14% of the Israeli Arab population, in East Jerusalem, also counted in the Palestinian statistics, although 98% of East Jerusalem Palestinians have either Israeli residency or Israeli citizenship. Most Arab citizens of Israel are Muslim, particularly at the Sunni branch of Islam. A small minority are Ahmadiyya sect and there are also some Alawites, affiliated with Shia Islam, of Qajar with Israeli citizenship. As of 2008, Arab citizens of Israel comprise just over 20% of the country's total population. About 82.6% of the Arab population in Israel was Sunni Muslim, with a very small minority of Shia, another 9% was Druze, and around 9% was Christian, mostly Eastern Orthodox and Catholic denominations.
Israelites. The Arab Muslim citizens of Israel include also the Bedouins, who are divided into two main groups, the Bedouin in the north of Israel, who live in villages and towns for the most part, and the Bedouin in the Negev, who include half nomadic and inhabitants of towns and unrecognized villages. According to the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as of 1999, 110,000 Bedouins live in the Negev, 50,000 in the Galilee and 10,000 in the central region of Israel. The vast majority of Arab Bedouins of Israel practice Sunni Islam. The Ahmadiyya community was first established in the region in the 1920s, in what was then mandatory Palestine. Israel is the only country in the Middle East, where Ahmadi Muslims can openly practice their faith, which is not recognized as part of Islam by most Sunni and Shia denominations. As such, Kababur, a neighborhood on Mount Carmel in Haifa, Israel, acts as the Middle East headquarters of the community. It is unknown how many Israeli Ahmadis there are, although it is estimated there are about 2,200 Ahmadis in Kababur alone. As of December 2013, about 161,000 Israeli citizens practiced Christianity, together comprising about 2% of the total population. The largest group consists of Melkites, about 60% of Israel's Christians followed by the Greek Orthodox, about 30%, with the remaining ca. 10% spread between the Roman Catholic, Latin, Maronite, Anglican, Lutheran, Armenian, Syriac, Ethiopian, Coptic and other denominations. Some 1,000 Israeli citizens belong to the Coptic community, originated in Egypt. The Arab citizens of Israel include also the Druze who were numbered at an estimated 129,800 at the end of 2011. All of the Druze living in what was then British Mandate Palestine became Israeli citizens after the declaration of the State of Israel. Though a few individuals identify themselves as Palestinian Druze, the vast majority of Druze do not consider themselves to be Palestinian, and consider their Israeli identity stronger than their Arab identity. Druze serve prominently in the Israel Defense Forces, and are represented in mainstream Israeli politics and business as well, unlike Muslim Arabs who are not required to and generally choose not to serve in the Israeli army. In 2014, Israel decided to recognize the Aramaic community within its borders as a national minority, allowing some of the Christians in Israel to be registered as Aramean instead of Arab. As of October 2014, some 600 Israelis requested to be registered as Arameans, with several thousand eligible for the status mostly members of the Maronite community. The Maronite Christian community in Israel of around 7,000 resides mostly in the Galilee, with a presence in Haifa, Nazareth and Jerusalem. It is largely composed of families that lived in Upper Galilee and villages such as Jish long before the establishment of Israel in 1948. In the year 2000, the community was joined by a group of Lebanese SLA militia members and their families, who fled Lebanon after 2000 withdrawal of ID from South Lebanon. There are around 1,000 Assyrians living in Israel, mostly in Jerusalem and Nazareth. Assyrians are an Aramaic-speaking, Eastern Rite Christian minority who are descended from the ancient Mesopotamians. The old Syriac Orthodox Monastery of St. Mark lies in Jerusalem. Other than followers of the Syriac Orthodox Church, there are also followers of the Assyrian Church of the East and the Chaldean Catholic Church living in Israel. The Samaritans are an ethno religious group of the Levant. Ancestrally, they claim descent from a group of Israelite inhabitants who have connections to ancient Samaria from the beginning of the Babylonian exile up to the beginning of the Common Era. 2007 population estimates show that 712 Samaritans live half in Holon, Israel and half at Mount Gerizim in the West Bank. The Holon community holds Israeli citizenship, while the Gerizim community resides at an Israeli-controlled enclave, holding dual Israeli-Palestinian citizenship. About 4,000 Armenians reside in Israel mostly in Jerusalem, including in the Armenian Quarter, but also in Tel Aviv, Haifa, and Yaffa. Armenians have a patriarchate in Jerusalem and churches in Jerusalem, Haifa, and Yaffa. Although Armenians of Old Jerusalem have Israeli identity cards, they are officially holders of Jordanian passports. In Israel, there are also a few thousand Circassians, living mostly in Kfar Kama, 2000, and Rehnie. 1000. These two villages were a part of a greater group of Circassian villages around the Golan Heights. The Circassians in Israel enjoy, like Druzes, a status aparte. Male Circassians, at their leader's request, are mandated for military service, while females are not. Ethnic Russians, Ukrainians, and Belarusians, immigrants from the former Soviet Union, 
who are eligible to emigrate due to having, or being married to somebody who has, at least one Jewish grandparent and thus qualified for Israeli citizenship under the revised law of return. A number of these immigrants also belong to various ethnic groups from the former Soviet Union such as Armenians, Georgians, Azeris, Uzbeks, Moldovans, Tatars, among others. Some of them, having Jewish father or grandfather identify as Jews, but being non-Jewish by halakha, Jewish religion law, they are not recognized formally as Jews by state. Most of them are in the mainstream of Israel culture and are called expanded Jewish population. In addition, a certain number of former Soviet citizens, primarily women of Russian and Ukrainian ethnicity, emigrated to Israel, after marrying Muslim or Christian Arab citizens of Israel, who went to study in the former Soviet Union in the 1970s and 1980s. Although most people of Finnish origin in Israel are Finnish Jews who immigrated to Israel, and their descendants, a small number of Finnish Christians moved to Israel in the 1940s before the independence and gained citizenship following independence. For the most part, many of the original Finnish settlers intermarried with the other communities in the country, and therefore remain very small in number. A Moshav Shitufi near Jerusalem named Yad Hashmona, meaning the Memorial for the Eight, was established in 1971 by a group of Finnish Christian Israelis, although today, most members are Israeli, and are predominantly Hebrew speakers, and the Moshav has become a center of so-called Messianic Jews. The Baha'i population in Israel is almost entirely made up of volunteers serving at the Baha'i World Center. Baha'u'llah, 1817-1892, the faith's founder, was banished to Akka and died nearby where his shrine is located. During his lifetime he instructed his followers not to teach and convert those living in Theria, and the Baha'is descending from those original immigrants were later asked to leave and teach elsewhere. For nearly a century there has been a policy Bishogi Effendi and later the Universal House of Justice do not accept converts from Israel. The 650 or so foreign national Baha'is living in Israel are almost all on temporary duty serving at the shrines and administrative offices. A fluctuating segment of Baha'is consists of pilgrims. The number of Vietnamese people in Israel and their descendants is estimated at 150 to 200. Most of them came to Israel in between 1976 to 1979, after Prime Minister Menachem Begin authorized their admission to Israel and granted them political asylum. The Vietnamese people living in Israel are Israeli citizens who also serve in the Israel Defense Forces. Today, the majority of the community lives in the Gushtan area in the center of Tel Aviv, but also a few dozen Vietnamese Israelis or Israelis of Vietnamese origin live in Haifa, Jerusalem, and Ophakim. The African Hebrew Israelite Nation of Jerusalem is a small spiritual group of African Americans, whose members believe they are descended from the ten lost tribes of Israel. With a population of over 5,000, most members live in their own community in Demona, Israel, with additional families in Arad. Mitz Ramon, and the Tiberias area. At least some of them considered themselves to be Jewish, but mainstream scholarship does not consider them to be of Israelite but of sub-Saharan African origin. Their ancestors were African Americans who after several years in Liberia migrated to Israel in the late 1960s and demanded that Israel give them citizenship in the state. When Israel refused, they relinquished their United States citizenship and de facto became stateless. After some deliberation, the Israeli government granted them citizenship. The African Hebrew Israelites, like the Haredim and most Israeli Arabs, are not required to serve in the military, however, some do so, and they do receive social benefits from the state, including free health care. Most believe in a kind of Paleo Judaism based on the Torah without the oral laws, however, at least one member of the community underwent a conversion to Orthodox Judaism. Some naturalized foreign workers and their children born in Israel, predominantly from the Philippines, Nepal, Nigeria, Senegal, Romania, China, Cyprus, Thailand, and South America, mainly Colombia. The number and status of African migrants in Israel is disputed and controversial, but it is estimated that at least 70,000 refugees mainly from Eritrea, Sudan, South Sudan, Ethiopia, and the Ivory Coast reside and work in Israel. A count in late 2011 published in Ynet pointed out the number only in Tel Aviv is 40,000, which represents 10% of the city's population. The vast majority is living at the southern parts of the city. There is a significant population in the southern Israeli cities of Eilat, Arad, and Beersheba. There are around 300,000 foreign workers, residing in Israel under temporary work visas, including Palestinians. 
Most of those foreign workers engage in agriculture and construction. The main groups of those foreign workers include the Chinese, Thai, Filipinos, Nigerians, Romanians, and Latin Americans. Approximately 100 to 200 refugees from Bosnia, Kosovo, Iraqi Kurdistan, and North Korea were absorbed in Israel as refugees. Most of them were also given Israeli resident status and currently reside in Israel. As of 2006, some 200 ethnic Kurdish refugees from Turkey resided in Israel as illegal immigrants, fleeing the Turkey PKK conflict. Due to its immigrant nature, Israel is one of the most multicultural and multilingual societies in the world. Hebrew is the official language of the country, and Arabic is given special status, while English and Russian are the two most widely spoken non-official languages. A certain degree of English is spoken widely, and is the language of choice for many Israeli businesses. Courses of Hebrew and English language are mandatory in the Israeli school system, and most schools offer either Arabic, French, Spanish, German, Italian, or Russian. According to a 2010 Israel Central Bureau of Statistics study of Israelis aged over 18, 8% of Israeli Jews define themselves as Haredim, or ultra-Orthodox, an additional 12% are religious, non-Haredi Orthodox, also known as, Dadi Lumi slash National Religious or Religious Zionist, 13% considered themselves religious traditionalists mostly adhering to Jewish halakha, 25% are non-religious traditionalists, only partly respecting the Jewish halakha and 43% are secular. Among the seculars, 53% say they believe in God. Due to the higher birth rate of religious and traditionalists over seculars, their share among the overall population is growing as time passes. While the ultra-Orthodox, or Haredim, represented only 5% of Israel's population in 1990, they are expected to represent more than one-fifth of Israel's Jewish population by 2028. Education between ages 5 and 15 is compulsory. It is not free, but it is subsidized by the government, individual organizations, such as the Beit Yaakov system, or a combination. Parents are expected to participate in courses as well. The school system is organized into kindergartens, six-year primary schools, and either six-year secondary schools or three-year junior secondary schools plus three-year senior secondary schools, depending on region after which a comprehensive examination is offered for university admissions. As Israel's continued existence as a Jewish state relies upon maintenance of a Jewish demographic majority, Israeli demographers, politicians, and bureaucrats have treated Jewish population growth promotion as a central question in their research and policy making. Non-Jewish population growth and immigration is regarded as a threat to the Jewish demographic majority, and to Israel's security, as detailed in the Koenig Memorandum. Israel is the 34th most densely crowded country in the world. In an academic article, Jewish National Fund board member Daniel Laurentstein argues that, as elsewhere, overpopulation is a stressor on the environment in Israel. He shows that environmentalists have conspicuously failed to consider the impact of population on the environment, and argues that overpopulation in Israel has not been appropriately addressed for ideological reasons. The Citizenship and Entry into Israel Law Temporary Order, 5763 was first passed on July 31, 2003, and has since been extended until July 31, 2008. The law places age restrictions for the automatic granting of Israeli citizenship and residency permits to spouses of Israeli citizens, such that spouses who are inhabitants of the West Bank and Gaza Strip are ineligible. On May 8, 2005, the Israeli Ministerial Committee for Issues of Legislation once again amended the Citizenship and Entry into Israel law, to restrict citizenship and residence in Israel only to Palestinian men over the age of 35, and Palestinian women over the age of 25. Those in favor of the law say the law not only limits the possibility of the entrance of terrorists into Israel, but, as Sa'ev Boim asserts, allows Israel to maintain the state's democratic nature, but also its Jewish nature, I, E its Jewish demographic majority. Critics, including the United Nations Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, say the law disproportionately affects Arab citizens of Israel, since Arabs in Israel are far more likely to have spouses from the West Bank and Gaza Strip than other Israeli citizens. In the constitutional challenges to the citizenship and entry to Israel law, the state, represented by the Attorney General, insisted that security was the only objective behind the law. 
The state also added that even if the law was intended to achieve demographic objectives, it is still in conformity with Israel's Jewish and democratic definition, and thus constitutional. In a 2012 ruling by the Supreme Court on the issue, some of the judges on the panel discussed demography, and were inclined to accept that demography is a legitimate consideration in devising family reunification policies that violate the right to family life. During the 1970s about 163,000 people of Jewish descent immigrated to Israel from the USSR. Later Ariel Sharon, in his capacity as Minister of Housing and Construction and member of the Ministerial Committee for Immigration and Absorption, launched an unprecedented large-scale construction effort to accommodate the new Russian population in Israel so as to facilitate their smooth integration and encourage further Jewish immigration as an ongoing means of increasing the Jewish population of Israel. Between 1989 and 2006, about 979,000 Jews emigrated from the former Soviet Union to Israel. Note, includes over 200,000 Israelis and 250,000 Arabs in East Jerusalem, about 421,400 Jewish settlers on the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, and about 42,000 in the Golan Heights, July 2007 Est. Does not include Arab populations in the West Bank and Gaza stripped out does not include 222,000 foreigners living in the country. Total Jews Arab The Jewish median age in Jerusalem district in the West Bank are 24.9 and 19.7, respectively, and both account for 16% of the Jewish population, but 24% of 0 to 4 year olds. The lowest median age in Israel and one of the lowest in the world, is found in two of the West Bank's biggest Jewish cities, Modi Enilat, 11, Beitar Ilat, 11, followed by Bedouin towns in the Negev, 15.2. During the 1990s, the Jewish population growth rate was about 3% per year, as a result of massive immigration to Israel, primarily from the republics of the former Soviet Union. There is also a very high population growth rate among certain Jewish groups, especially adherents of Orthodox Judaism. The growth rate of the Arab population in Israel is 2.2%, while the growth rate of the Jewish population in Israel is 1.7%. The growth rate of the Arab population has slowed from 3.8% in 1999 to 2.2% 2 .2 in 2013, and for the Jewish population, the growth rate declined from 2.7% to its lowest rate of 1.4% in 2005, before picking up since then to 1.7%. 4-2016-3-2017 Births, in absolute numbers, by mother's religion current natural population growth. Between the mid-1980s and 2000s, the fertility rate in the Muslim sector was stable at 4.6 to 4.7 children per woman. After 2001, a gradual decline became evident, reaching 3.51 children per woman in 2011. By point of comparison, in 2011, there was a rising fertility rate of 2.98 children among the Jewish population. Births and Deaths Structure of the Population, January 7, 2012, Estimates There were a total of 38,666 deaths in 2006, 39,026 in 2005 and 37,688 in 2000. Of this 33,568 were Jews. 34,031 in 2005 and 33,421 in 2000. 3,078 were Muslims, 2,968 in 2005 and 2,683 in 2000. 360 were Druze, 363 in 2005 and 305 in 2000. 712 were Christian, 686 in 2005 and 666 in 2000. There were a total of 26,500 immigrants who made aliyah to Israel in 2014, 11,430 from the former Soviet Union, 7,000 from France, 3,470 from the United States, 620 from the United Kingdom, 620 from Colombia, 400 from Canada, 340 from Italy, 300 from Brazil, 297 from Argentina, 240 from Belgium, 232 from Eastern Europe including 126 from Hungary, 200 from Australia and New Zealand, 190 from South Africa, 120 from Germany, 76 from Mexico, 70 from Venezuela, 58 from Uruguay, and 52 from Chile. For many years definitive data on Israeli immigration was unavailable. 
In the Israeli diaspora sociologist Stephen J. Gold maintains that calculation of Jewish emigration has been a contentious issue, explaining, since Zionism, the philosophy that underlies the existence of the Jewish state, calls for return home of the world's Jews, the opposite movement, Israelis leaving the Jewish state to reside elsewhere, clearly presents an ideological and demographic problem. In the past several decades, emigration, Yerida, has seen a considerable increase. From 1990 to 2005, 230,000 Israelis left the country, a large proportion of its departures included people who initially immigrated to Israel and then reversed their course, 48% of all post-1990 departures and even 60% of 2003 and 2004 departures were former immigrants to Israel. 8% of Jewish immigrants in the post-1990 period left Israel, while 15% of non-Jewish immigrants did. In 2005 alone, 21,500 Israelis left the country and had not yet returned at the end of 2006, among them 73% were Jews, 5% Arabs, and 22% others, most Linden Jewish immigrants, with Jewish ancestry, from USSR. At the same time, 10,500 Israelis came back to Israel after over one year abroad, 84% were Jews, 9% others, and 7% Arabs. According to the Israel Central Bureau of Statistics, as of 2005, 650,000 Israelis had left the country for over one year and not returned out of them, 530,000 are still alive today. This number does not include the children born overseas. It should also be noted that Israeli law grants citizenship on LIGO the first generation of children born to Israeli emigrants. Geographic Deployment Average life expectancy at age zero of the total population. Jewish total fertility rate increased by 10.2% during 1998 to 2009, and was recorded at 2.90 during 2009. During the same time period, Arab TFR decreased by 25%. Muslim TFR was measured at 3.73 for 2009. During 2000, the Arab TFR in Jerusalem, 4.43, was higher than that of the Jews residing there. 3.79. But as of 2009, Jewish TFR in Jerusalem was measured higher than the Arab TFR, 2010, 4.26 versus 3.85, 2009, 4.16 versus 3.87. TFR for Arab residents in the West Bank was measured at 2.91 in 2013, while that for the Jewish residents was reported at 5.10 children per woman. The ethnic group with highest recorded TFR is the Bedouin of Negev. Their TFR was reported at 10.06 in 1998, and 5.73 in 2009. TFR is also very high among Haredi Jews. For Ashkenazi Haredim, the TFR rose from 6.91 in 1980 to 8.51 in 1996. The figure for 2008 is estimated to be even higher. TFR for Sephardi slash Mizrahi Haredim rose from 4.57 in 1980 to 6.57 in 1996. Age 15 and over can read and write, 2011 estimate. In June 2013, the Central Bureau of Statistics released a demographic report, projecting that Israel's population would grow to 11.4 million by 2035, with the Jewish population numbering 8.3 million, or 73% of the population, and the Arab population at 2.6 million, or 23%. This includes some 2.3 million Muslims, 20% of the population. 185,000 Druze, and 152,000 Christians. The report predicts that the Israeli population growth rate will decline to 1.4% annually, with growth in the Muslim population remaining higher than the Jewish population until 2035, at which point the Jewish population will begin growing the fastest. In 2017, the Central Bureau of Statistics projected that Israel's population would rise to about 18 million by 2059 including 14.4 million Jews and 3.6 million Arabs. Of the Jewish population, about 5.25 million would be ultra-Orthodox Jews. Overall, the forecast projected that 49% of population would be either ultra-Orthodox Jews, 29%, and Arabs, 20%. It also projected a population of 20 million in 2065. Other forecasts project that Israel could have a population as high as 23 million or even 36 million, by 2050. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.